How's it going everybody? Welcome back to my C Sharp programming series. Um, today we're going to be looking at composition in C Sharp. Um, I really went into detail on um, composition in my C++ series, um, but I'm going to cover it briefly here. So basically, a class uh, can have references to objects of other classes as members, um, which you see in my employee. It has an, um, a date object called birth date. So uh, such a capability is uh, known as composition and is sometimes referred to as a has a relationship like every employee will have a birth date, have a hire date, you know, or every car will have a color, a make and a model. So another example, um, the class alarm clock would need to know the current time and the time when it is supposed to sound its alarm. So it is fairly reasonable to include two references uh, to time objects as members of the alarm clock. So in this example, um, it has three classes, one of date, employee, and the um, example, which is the main uh, program. Uh, the date here declares instance variables, month and day, and auto-implemented property year to represent a date, which um, we're kind of doing right here. <clears throat> Uh, the constructor will receive three integer parameters, which is down here. Um, basically, uh, it's, we're going to want to validate the month, day, and year. So the get and set properties of a month here will just make sure that month is within the value of 1 and 12. And if not, we'll just set it to 1 with the default value. And day, our uh, days per month here, Basically, look at this. Okay, we have all, all of these separate January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December. Um, these are going to store each month has a certain number of days in it. So we're going to check. First, we need to check to see if our value um, falls within one of these categories. Then we need to check for a leap year which is what we're going to do right here if, if February uh, 29th every four years. Um, otherwise we'll have a default value of 1 and then again we're going to override our two string function and just to output the month, the day, and the year. Um, looking at the employee class you see we have a couple of different um, I actually wanted to go over one more thing in um, the constructor here, um, we use output uh, this reference as a string. Um, since this is a reference to the current date object, the object's toString method is called implicitly to obtain the object's string representation. And then that that's goes for the current date. And the employee class now has um, four private variables, two strings, a first and last name, and two date objects, a birth date and another date object of higher date. Um, our constructor basically just um, initializes all of, the, all of the data and our um, two string again will output all of the information from last name to first name, the higher date and the date of birth. And the main program is very simple. We just need to declare a couple of um, date objects, the birth date and the start date, we can just um, initialize those to whatever um, the values you, you plan on using there. And then another employee object um, with the name and then the, the actual birth date, which is right here, the object, we're passing an object as a parameter to the employee class and the start date. So when we call the right line function and use the employee object which we have declared here, you can see that we are left with the information that we entered. John Green was hired 1-15-2001 and his date of birth is April 24th, 1971. So <clears throat> just basically the point of this video um, is a basic introduction to composition. Um, we, you want to be able to have your classes loosely coupled with other classes so they can um, basically interact better and be able to um, when you when you design everything you want to make sure um, that you know the class can uh, will 
be accessing other class objects in the right way. Um, that is a has a relationship is composition inheritance will be um, on a later video and that's all I want to cover for today. I don't want to make it too long. So I want to thank you guys for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe and I hope to see you for my next video.